Hey, sweet faces, welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at customary and length. Customary meaning the measurement system that we use here in the U.S. and length meaning how long or tall something is. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we look at our first question, though, we're looking at inches and feet. And I want you just to take a moment to think back to in class when we talked about benchmarks that can live inside of our head. Because when I say inches and I say feet, our brain doesn't necessarily have something to hang on to. So when I say inches, I want you to think of your pointer finger, that first bend, like we talked about in class. And when we talk about feet, I want you to think of a book standing up tall with that in mind. The height of a backpack. Does it make more sense that it's 19 inches or 19 fingertips or that it's 19 books? 19 inches is going to make the most sense. Width of a Ferris wheel, 60 inches or 60 feet? 60 feet is the best answer, and that is actually a true fact. Height of a crow, 21 inches or 21 feet? Unless this is a crow, it's going to be 21 inches. The length of a gravy boat. This is something that would be on your dinner table that you could use at Thanksgiving if you celebrate. It's going to be seven inches. We do not need seven feet worth of gravy. That's probably taller than most of your grown-ups. Height of a mailbox, four feet. If it was four inches and our mail person tried to put mail inside, they'd have to bend all the way down to the ground to use it. Length of a cooler, we're talking about two feet. If it's only two inches, we might be feeding an ant. We're not going to be able to get much in there. Any questions on these kiddos? Bring them with you to class. All right, so we're talking about feet and inches here. As a reminder, there are 12 inches in one foot. 12 inches in one foot. So with that being said, to find out seven feet, we would have to do 12 times seven because every foot has 12 inches. 12 times seven gives me 84 inches. If we're going for three feet and we want to know how many inches, there's 12 inches in every foot. 12 times three gives me 36. 18 feet equals how many inches? Double, double toil and trouble. We have to do 18 times 12. I know I was asking for some big math from you. 18 times 12 gives us 216. But as some reminders, if I have a big answer, like 18 times 12, I could take my 18 and split it into 10 and 8 and times both of those by 12 and find a solution that way. Of course, we should put the bigger number on the top. That looks silly, but we can split it up that way to make it a little bit easier for our brain. How many inches are in 10 feet? 120 because we can times this by 12. Four feet is 48 inches, again, timesing that by 12. And then 12 feet gives us 144 inches by doing that double-double multiplication. Any questions? Bring them with you to class. All right, so this time the feet were missing. The feet were missing. I gave you the inches and you needed the feet. As a reminder, there are 12 inches in one foot doing some division this time. So 24 inches divided by 12 gives us two feet. 60 inches divided by 12 gives us five feet. And if we could not think through the division, we can do some guess and check. I can do, okay, well, 12 times three is 36. And if I have 36 and I add another 12, that's 48. And if I add another 12 there, that's 60. Remember, we have tons of strategies utilize them. If this does not work with the way your brain thinks, choose a different strategy. I can use repeated addition. I can use multiplication. All right, coming down to the second row. 108 inches, excuse me, divided by 12 gives me nine feet. Again, I can use addition. I can use guess and check multiplication. This one was icky, sticky, tricky. We talked about this in class. If it has feet and inches, any remainder is going to stay in the original label that it has. So I can pull out 10 feet with two inches left over. Any remainder stays as inches. All right, last row coming on down, 93 inches. Again, when I see feet and inches prompting me, that tells me that I need to think about this division. So if I do 93 divided by 12, that gives me seven. And when I look at what I have left over, I have 
nine left over. So seven times 12, if I'm thinking it through, is 84. 93 minus 84 gives me nine. It gives me nine. And then over here, 49 inches. Again, I'm going to divide it out. 49 is going to give me four feet because four times 12 is 48. And it leaves me with one inch left over. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, sweet faces. Looking at page four, we were measuring using our ruler. When in doubt, stretch it out. I could take a ruler or I don't need to purchase anything, right? If I don't have a ruler, I can use the edge of a book, the side of a folder, um, anything that you can find that has a straight edge to measure. So this one is going to be nine inches. This guy, we're going to say six inches. Down here, we're going to say 10 inches. Over here, come on, ruler, come with me. There we go. Let's get it right onto the front there. Four inches down to the shoe, eight inches, and then over to the suitcase. Ooh, that went a little goofy. 11 inches. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, loves, last thing, word problems, word problems. Let's figure out what are they asking me to do and what numbers are they giving me to use? Let's dive in. A piece of wood is four feet long. How many inches is it? Well, if there are 12 inches in a foot and I have four, 12 times four is 48 inches. The diagonal, meaning sideways measurement, of a flat screen TV is 48 inches. How many feet is that? Well, over here, 48 inches was four feet. I can use what I know, or I can divide this by 12. The answer is four feet. Greg's friend has a swimming pool that is 20 feet long and 10 feet wide. How many inches is the width? So I have to do 20 times 12, and I have to do 10 times 12 to figure out the inches and width. But trickster, I only want the width, which means I only have to figure out this version. Remember, we use the rhyme, drop the zero, find the fact, multiply, put the zero back. It's 120 inches. If you figured out both of them, that is okay. You would have gotten 240 inches for the second one. Debbie has a bookcase that is six feet tall and two feet wide. What are its dimensions in inches? This time I wanted you to do both. So six times 12 gives me the inches and two times 12 gives me the inches. Two times 12 is 24. Six times 12 is 72. So 72 inches by 24 inches. A rope is 216 inches long. What is its length? We had to do 216 divided by 12. If that was icky, sticky, tricky, you could use guess and check multiplication as well. You would get 18 feet, 18 feet. Last one, Mackenzie has two pieces of fabric that are 36 inches each. What is the total number of feet in fabric? So this one was a trickster. I needed to first figure out how many feet were in these inches. 12 goes into 36 three times. But I see that I have two of these, so I have to double my answer. It gives me six feet in total. If you have questions, please bring them with you to class. Have a good weekend, Matthew.